this is giving Red Riding Hood tromping all through the woods. And then it's like a spice in here, like a pumpkin. It's so different. I have another. No. No. So this is another one that people are like, blind by. This is like a nestle. It's like you walk by and someone's gonna be like, oh, she's clean. Oh, she clean clean. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Sam LaRue. So today we're talking all about Zara fragrances. So we're gonna find out today, is the hype real with some of Zara's most elusive, most popular, most hyped fragrances? This video is not sponsored and these are solely my opinions, okay? So if you're new to this channel, subscribe if you like this kind of content because that's what I'm bringing you on this channel. Um, let's start off with Fashionably London. Hmm. <laughs> Beautiful name, right? Fashionably London notes consist of bergamot, rose, and musk. This is also a dupe for Delina. So if you like Delina, this might be in the same family for you. For me, I don't even like Delina. Okay, let's start there. Don't like it. I don't know her. <laughs> she is not me and I am not her. I don't know why, I just do not like Delina. It does not smell good to me. It smells very, very mature. So yeah, if you like mature scents, then you'll definitely like Delina. It's rose, it's musk, it's giving all the feels of an 85 year old woman that had a perfume that she's had in her pocketbook for the past 40 years. It's just been sitting in her pocketbook for the past 40 years. Oh, 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 Lord, I'm gonna drop this. Ugh, because I dropped one, it wasn't pretty. That's what this smells like, and that's what Delina smells like. But actually, I like this one better than Delina because Delina is like, to me, rougher. And this is more like light. The rose is like an organic rose. Hmm. Yeah. I definitely smell the rose and the musk. Ain't no doubt about it. It smells very mature, okay? If you like Delina, you probably will really like this. So this one is Energetically New York. Energetically New York notes consist of cardamom, jasmine, and sandalwood. Now, Energetically New York is a whole other ball game. I'm absolutely obsessed with Energetically New York. Beautiful, beautiful scent. It is so pretty. This one's a unisect. The last one was unisect as well, but this one definitely is giving unisect, but leaning towards feminine. This is supposed to be a dupe for Le Labos, Centaur 33. And I would say I like this better. I like this better than the, the Le Labos. You know, this one, it gives me an essence of Joe Malone. I, it's just a light. The notes are just also pretty. Energetically New York gives off an energetic vibe. It bounces off of you and it's just like commands people to come hither. This is a come hither vibe. This is like a nestle. This is like someone's about to come up to you and give you a good old nestle hug and like drink you in. It's so beautiful. So obviously I really like this one. Now I would show you the um, container, but unfortunately it broke. So it spilled all throughout here. So this whole thing smells like energetically New York and I'm obsessed. I should like put this in my bathroom. Because this is such a beautiful scent. Okay. Next up we have Elegantly Tokyo. Elegantly Tokyo notes consist of lily, jasmine, and agala woods. Oh, oh gosh, I forgot this one too. Lord. Okay, so this one came to me like this. I literally just bought these last week. This one came to me empty, essentially. I guess this was open. Like, yeah, because it's very wet. Let me get this off of here. So it was open and everything poured out, which is weird because the, I won't do it, I'll do it on a different one. It's weird how it even came out because all of them had the roller. So they all had this little roller. So it's like, it's not 
liquid still doesn't come out. So I guess maybe the ball was loosened. I'm not sure what happened on that one, but somehow all the liquid came out. Which is a shame because I love Energetically Tokyo. It's so pretty. I love it so much. I really, 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 really like this. I'm not even a big floral person. And that's what's really interesting because all the floral, especially the white floral, love. I think Joe Malone knows how to do a white floral. Oh my God, it's just, oh, it's so good. It's so good. So what this is like is it reminds me a lot of Energetically New York. So it's like if I sprayed Energetically New York on me, I go to a flower shop and I just trawl up through the flowers. So it's giving me a mix of the peppery notes from New York and combining it with flowers, white flowers to be exact. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> It is, I just can't even, like, it just smells good. It just smells pretty. This is like a universal everyday scent. I would wear this to work. I would wear it to school. I would wear this everywhere, to the gym. Like, there's nowhere you cannot wear this. This is a beautiful, universal scent that you can wear any and everywhere. Okay? So, that's it for the Jo Malone line. But I will say, I love those so much. I was so impressed. I bought the whole entire line. So these are three and there's eight total. So I bought the whole entire line. I bought the big bottles. It's like a set of eight. So when that comes in, I'll do my review on the whole Jo Malone collaboration with Zara. And I think it's called City Vibrations or Vibrate. It's the City collaboration. Because I think she's done a couple of collabs. So the City collab is the one that I'm most intrigued about. So that should be coming in soon. So next we'll do another popular one. This one was another one that was highly recommended. It is a dupe for Chanel Chance. Try Chance, don't love it. It's nothing spectacular. So when I heard about the dupe, I said, maybe we'll see how this one works. And I actually am surprised at the results. And that would be the apple juice. Apple juice notes consist of apple, orange, cedar, sandalwood it's a clean fresh woodsy floral okay so what i can say about apple juice is i like it like it it's cool i would give it like a b like it's not something i have to have but it's not something i would like turn away from it's nice now what makes this stand out for me is the fact that it's two different experiences between putting it on my skin or putting it on my clothes. Two totally different experiences. So on my skin, what I realized is I don't like citrus. I'm not a citrusy girl. It's not my vibe. So on me, it's, I don't know. I feel like my skin repels. Like it's like, get off of me. It's kind of like when you slice an apple after a couple of hours, if it's sitting out, it's gonna start to turn brown. It starts to kind of sour. I feel like that's what happens on my skin. Like my skin's like, get this citrusy stuff off of me. I don't like it. <laughs> that's on my skin. Now on clothes, transformative. This stuff smells like gain. And I know what you're thinking, like gain detergent. Yes, ma'am. Yes, gain detergent, but not just any gain. that has like the different fragrances. Like it'll have the like midnight at summer during a rain, like a collaboration with Febreze. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. It's like these collaborations that they do and that they name them all these like fancy stuff. Blueberry and mustard on a hot summer day with tea, stuff like that. So it smells like that on my clothes. This smells clean. This is clean girl. This is like you walk by and someone's gonna be like, Oh, she's clean. Oh, she clean clean. <laughs> now she's clean. She clean clean. They know you bathe frequently, maybe twice a day. This is giving I bathe twice a day. And I use very expensive detergent in the big bag. No price is too much for you to be clean. That's what this is giving me. So hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> 
So this is a keeper. I definitely, I mean, I would buy this again. I'm only spraying it on my clothes though. On me, it has like an hour or two before it sours. Before my skin like repels it. But on the clothes, it's a very long lasting. I sprayed this on a pillowcase and it was like three days later, I could still smell it. So the longevity is high. And it smells so good. Mm. Smells good. Okay, so next up we have Gardenia. So Gardenia is a dupe for Black Opium by YSL. Never tried it. I don't know her. So I can't really tell you if it is a dupe or not. Mmm. This smells good. This smells like cotton candy, like the, the uh, pecans and cashews and they dip it in sugar and they fry it and you get that like the caramel and the nuts. This is a gourmand, so it's sugary. This is one I feel like men would be obsessed with. So gardenia is one that I think men would be like, it's another one that's like, come hither scent like, ready, I'm ready when you are. This is a I'm ready when you are scent. So that's gardenia. Ooh, this one's another popular one. This one's one that people are like, blind, blind buy, just get it. Girl, don't stop. Just go get it today. Just buy it today, right now, buy it. So I was like, okay, well, this has got to be phenomenal. I mean, they're ranting and raving about this stuff like it's gold. And by gold, I mean golden decade. Golden decade is supposed to be a dupe for YSL Libre. I like YSL Libre. This is definitely dupe for it. Now I love YSL Libre Intense. They smell very similar, but the Intense has more of a refinement to me. Love it. So pretty, so pretty. This smells like happiness. This smells like joy. It does smell like, like a golden afternoon with the sun just beaming on your skin and you're just drinking in the sunlight like this is golden like you feel golden it looks golden it's giving off that vibe we know her oh we know her <laughs> this is a sunset this is happiness this is joy this is life itself this is birth <laughs> this is rebirth <laughs> this is freedom okay this is Golden Decade. Um, love it. Well, I like it a lot. Now, I made the mistake of spraying this multiple times wrong. I don't know, I might just be sensitive, but I cannot handle but one or two sprays. This is strong, it lasts a long time, it's pungent, it's all the things. But instead of spending money on YSL Libre, definitely go for this. Now, if you're trying to get a Libre Intense, this ain't it. This ain't it, this ain't it, but this is Libre all day, every day, with a coconut smile on the side. Yeah. Love that for me. And this is the only size they had, so this was a blind buy that I was like, this better be good, because I got a whole big daddy here, and it was good, it's worth it. So yeah, definitely worth it. Okay, what's next? Oh, uh, ooh, girl, this is another one. So this is another one that people are like, blind buy, <laughs> get it, don't ask no questions, you better get it because it might be out of stock and then you'll never be able to get it, so get it, right? People were like raving, it, it was like all the crave, like <laughs> every it girl has this. So I was like, sign it up, give me two. <sighs> and that would be Red Temptation, Red Temptation, is a dupe for Bach La Rock Rouge. Bach La Rock Rouge. We all know it. We've all smelt it. We all know someone that knows someone that knows someone that smelt it. Like everyone has smelled this. Okay, we're all familiar with Bach La Rock Rouge. And I will say, Red Temptation is definitely a dupe. Now, is it a good dupe? Not too fast, not not too fast, sister. It's a dupe, but is it a good one? 
it's not a good one for me. It is not. No, I have Baccarat and um, this is in the family. They're cousins. They know each other, right? But they're not siblings, right? So yeah, this is a cousin of Baccarat, but this is a distant cousin. So for me, but it does, I, I do get the vibes. What happens is on dry down, this turns into something else. It morphs into something else. I don't like this on dry down. It's a synthetic vibe. Baccarat Rouge is like beautiful. 10 hours later, it's still on you and it's beautiful. And it keeps its integrity. This stuff is like curdling on hour two. <laughs> it's curdling. It's morphing into some chemical on your skin. And you're just like, please get this off of me. Please. Who has a, a wet wipe? Like, please, please, sir. <laughs> so yeah, this is a no for me. And plus I'm tired of Baccarat. Like tired of it. Um, Everywhere I go, I smell it. I was at the grocery store like yesterday, I think. And this guy had it on. And I was like. Enough is enough. <laughs> enough. Like every time I go out, every woman, I, I, every woman, I don't care if she's picking up trash. She's got on Baccarat. I'm like, enough people. Stop. <laughs> Walking the dog, Baccarat. <laughs> Going out to the mailbox, Baccarat. I'm like, listen, guys, stop the madness. So I'm over smelling Baccarat Rouge. Just, I can't do it for goodness sake. Please don't make me do it. So nobody buy this. <laughs> nobody no but I do have a better dupe I think I have it oh yeah so just in case you have to have Baccarat you want to smell just like it but you don't want to pay $300 then the best dupe that I have found and I've tried many Ariana Grande Ariana Grande I think this was five dollars at Ross yes oh god yes it's so pretty this to me smells the most like Baccarat. It's pretty. It does not have that like nasty dry down that the Red Temptation had. This dry down similar to how it smells like the opening. So it's very similar. The Ariana Grande Cloud, most like Baccarat to me so that's the baccarat dupe let's go to another one this is another good one guys this one people were like going nuts they're like it's so unique it's so exotic it's it's a must -have. i've never smelled anything like this and i'm talking about like high-end perfume girls like high-end fragrance girls that like like this is all they do they just sample high-end $300, $500 perfumes. They were like, this is a magical. I have nothing of this caliber. It's so unique. So exotical. That would be Ebony Woods. All right, guys. So I had high hopes for this because the people were really feeling it. They were like, this is just magical. It's so unique. That's okay. I'm in for a treat. I love Unique. Unique should have been my middle name. Love it. Because I like to be different. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. No. I don't. We don't know her. I'm sorry. <laughs> We don't know her. <laughs> I can't with Ebony. Like Ebony, you tried it. Why did why did we do why had why did we need this? <sighs> okay. Ebony is like, remember when you were a kid and you would hop into a vat of leaves? Remember we did that? That's what this smells like. It's giving me leaves. Well, it is ebony woods, okay? It's giving me forest twigs. It's giving branches. <laughs> that might be your thing. But it's not like a cozy woodsy vibes. This is like an aggressive, a leaf got stuck up my nostril. <laughs> it's it's, an, it's an aggressive with it. It's like, I got it. 
duly noted, Ebony Woods. It's, yeah, and it's like a holly leaf. And then it's like a spice in here, like a pumpkin. This is giving Red Riding Hood tromping all through the woods, trying to find Grandma Ma's house, like hiding from the wolf vigorously throughout the branches and twigs and leaves. Now, if you like that vibe, this is definitely unique. So I'll give it to the girls. Like the girlies was right on that. And they were like, it's so unique. It's so different. I have another. This is the most unique smell of 2029. Like, girl, <laughs> where? This is a good old Bath and Body Works mishap. Like this is on the cutting room floor of Bath and Body Works right now. No, we can't put this out. Zara said, we'll do it. It, it's, I don't know why, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Some might like it. I don't want to offend. Somebody will like that smell. A lot of people like it, so. It's not my cup of tea. I want to smell good. I want someone to be like, yes, not, did she just, you know that outside smell? That's what it smells like. Like, she was just playing outside. You can smell it. Please let me know y'all know what I'm talking about. There is a out, like when you play outside all day as kids, there's an outside smell that these kids have. And you're just like, y'all been outside all day, haven't you? <laughs> ebony Woods. They can be like, no, we just sprayed some Ebony Woods. <laughs> we have not, we've been inside playing video games. We just sprayed Ebony Woods. <laughs> so next up is Tuberose Noir. So Tuberose Noir is beautiful. I love it. It's really pretty. I didn't think I would like this. Like when I smelled it at first, I was like, oh, it kind of smells like incense. It's getting like incense or something that you would like fragrance your bathroom with. So it's not like, ooh, it's on first smell. You're not like, yes, <laughs> I know her. It's more like, mm, mm. it really smells good during the dry down. So the dry down is when this shines on me. It smells like lipstick. It smells like Barbie. It smells like plastic. It reminds me of like, it's giving 90s vibes. This is like Vidal, Salsoon, Hot Pockets, this is Easy Bake Oven. This is Teddy Rubskins. This is MC Hammer and his parachute pants. This is giving 90s. It's giving supermodel red lip. It's giving refined, classy woman in the 90s. Okay. I actually like this one. I It's not a love and it's not a hate. It's a, I really enjoyed it. Last but not least is Vitamir Pomplamousse. What? Oh, is it the same? It is. Love that for me. Vitamir Pomplamousse. Pomplamousse. Blah, blah. AKA air. <laughs> so Vitamir smells totally, I'm like, they really tried it with this candle. The candle smells like nothing. It's like, maybe they forgot on mine to put fragrance, but then the fragrance, literally this smells like country time lemon. Like they just squeezed a bunch of fresh lemons up in here and said, here we go. To me, I'm just getting a whole bunch of lemons. Maybe a little bit of tangerine, but it's like a lemon summertime fragrance. So again, as we know, my skin repels any type of lemony, citrusy vibes. So not for me at all, but I feel like if you like that type of thing, this will be your jam. This is really fresh, real summery, real light. I don't know if it's gonna last very long on you, but it's a very light, fresh, inviting scent. It smells like lemons. Like literally, if I just drenched myself in lemons, that's what this would smell like. All right, well, that's it. But hopefully you did enjoy this video. I do have some strong takes. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. I really love introducing new fragrances into my fragrance collection. So let us know in the comments what fragrances are your top fragrances from Zara. And until next time, it's been real and it's been fun, but it ain't been real fun. <laughs>
Ah, c'est juste pour rien. <rire> Bye!